what does it mean to you to have an organisation like BAFTA to you know name you as one of their breakthrough Brits? <laughs> Good. Yeah, no, it's, I, I think it's amazing. It's um, like knowing that so many people have applied and they've kind of there's been a team of people who have kind of sat down and looked at your work and decided that you that this particular group of how many people are going to be the breakthrough Brits. It, it, it kind of like validates all the hard work you've kind of put in, which I think is quite nice. Yeah, and I was just thinking it takes so long to sort of break into the industry. Mm -hmm. So any kind of recognition that you get like this is a sort of pat on the back. And it's kind of like saying, you're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels like you're making lots of mistakes, but you're doing okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. Yeah, I mean, you're actually self-taught, aren't you, as well? No, I, I study, I went to film school. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a slow learner. I did my degree <laughs> in film directing and my postgraduate in film directing. Okay. So I made it a lot of shorts and then like progressively made like hopefully like fewer and fewer mistakes. <laughs> so that's the way I've come up. Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, for, for, you know, you've come a long way, obviously. So who has been who or what has been your inspiration to get you to this point? Mm. Uh, I was actually interviewed at film school by Lynn Ramsey. Okay. And I, was, I always looked up to her as a filmmaker. I think she'd only made one feature then, Ratcatcher, but I really loved her short films that she'd done at film school. Mm -hmm. So when I walked into the room for the interview, I was like suddenly quite nervous because I was kind of already meeting an idol. Uh, and I always tracked her work. And it was only the beginning of this year at Sundance where we both had a film in the same kind of section. And I saw her at a party and I came up to her and I said, oh, hi, Lynn, you interviewed me like 10 years ago at film school. Mm -hmm. And she didn't remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I, yeah, it was uh, so she, yeah, someone like her who had sort of gone through the same route and gone to film school and made shorts and then sort of progressively like made her features that have become bigger in scale. Someone like I looked up to a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um, uh, people like, oddly enough, um, uh, the production company I work with work a lot with uh, Robert Popper and Robert Popper made a TV show when I was at university called Look Around You and one of the first Edinburgh shows that I was part of we watched that show as like inspiration and it's odd to kind of be here now and when I see him I just speak to him like a friend <laughs> like, I'm like hey Robert he's like, hey Daniel how you doing and it's it's quite odd to kind of go from someone who inspired you in that, such a way to then just being friends with them and him seeing my work and I've seen his work and he really enjoys my work and I really enjoy his. So it's, yeah, it's, it, it's quite amazing. Was that like the surreal comedy show that was done as an educational video? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant, amazing. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> years since I've seen it. So it's one of the most amazing shows and yeah, the fact that I just know him now, it's quite bizarre. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and obviously, I mean, this industry is, is is quite a hard one to break as well. I mean, was there any point in either of your careers where you thought, is this really what I want to do? Uh, I never, I never felt like I was going to give up, but I did realise that it was like many times it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're going up for interviews to get directing jobs and you don't get it, or you're applying for applications, you know, you don't get it, or your film doesn't get into a festival. There's a lot of knockbacks and sort of disappointments but then your I think your armour becomes a bit thicker over the years mm -hmm. and you realise that's just the way it is and that it's you know it's really competitive there's lots of really talented people out there mm -hmm. um, so I never I just thought at, at some point it dawned on me that it would take longer than I anticipated but I was always quite sort of determined that I'd be able to like make at least one film <laughs> yeah. definitely going to do that we'll see if I make another yeah yeah it's a similar thing really for me as well like I think it was something that I've always wanted to do and again like getting lo loads of knockbacks and sometimes there's hurdles that you don't even you're even like oh, but that hurdle's not even fair why is that there do you know what I mean mm. and it it, it, it it kind of throws you but I think it's one of those things that if you you know you just really want it you just have to keep working at it and to start creating your own opportunities and I think that's what's so great about Pretty Through Brit is being able to meet new people and make new connections because I think for me anyway every job I can think of is connected to another job in some way shape or form so I'm really hoping that this will kind of widen it out to kind of help me progress and do even more things. And um, if there was anyone who wants to follow in your footsteps I mean what kind of advice would you give them and also, what advice would you give to your 15-year-old selves? <laughs> um, to 
filmmakers coming up, I would just say it's about making work and you know the sometimes and that's starting out just like trying to convince your brother to be in a really bad you know short <laughs> film and uh, I've made so like convinced so many friends to be in like really terrible short films but it was I've always felt like it was a process of getting mistakes out of my system I can only make like a good piece of work if I've made a lot of mistakes so I'd encourage yeah I'd encourage filmmakers just to like yeah, make work, even if it feels quite small and quite contained and it's just with a sort of, you know, a small camera and a group of people. Through that, that experience and that process, you learn so much as opposed to just sort of reading it in a book. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to think about what I, if I, <laughs> I should... <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd, exactly the same. I, I think um, create your own opportunities and create your own work. I think from, I mean, I started acting and after a point I realised that some of the roles that I wanted I wasn't necessarily getting so I just decided you know what I'm just going to create my own work and so I created my own roles and I think for anyone even if you do just want to be an actor it's quite good to make sure you know all aspects of the industry know about script writing even if you even if your end goal is not to be a script writer it will help you approach scripts in a whole different way and it means that you can kind of go away and you can write stuff and stage it yourself and that way you can kind of get people to come and watch it and yeah, create, that's, that's my main advice, make sure you create your own work and just be, I don't know, just create work and create stuff that you love. That would be my advice, yeah. Okay, and finally, I mean, what's next for you now? Where do you hope that this, this recognition is gonna lead you? Obviously, it's going to open a few doors. Uh, well, I'm going to, I don't know, fingers crossed I make another film next year. Mm -hmm. There's often like a really big gap between making your first film and your second film. And a lot of people have told me that making your second film is the hardest. <laughs> so I kind of want to meet other filmmakers, more experienced filmmakers and ask them what their process is. You know, how they prepare a film, how they find the scripts, how they develop those projects, how they cast, how they audition. You know, you get, it, it, I think that kind of insight is really like useful just to, to, to know how people like, yeah, have sort of developed their careers. Um, so I don't, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. okay. And for me, I, I just want to kind of keep developing work. Um, I think I've, I've, I've done my TV show and I've had so much fun doing it. And I think I just kind of want to expand into more things now. I kind of want to, I even look into stuff like features as well and do hour long shows and stuff like that. I just, I think I kind of, I'm quite excited just to see where it will go. And I think I want to kind of dip my toes in different things and, <laughs> and see where this roller coaster takes me. <laughs> that was very cheesy. No, I just said just roller use coaster. That bit. Jesus yeah, that's Christ. Just use that bit. Roller coaster. <laughs> I'm <gonna> simply red. <laughs> All right, yeah. See where this journey yeah. takes me. Okay, well, thanks very much for your time today. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!